It's time to harvest a few things today. See what it just we got. occurred to me that I haven't uh, taken a video of the peppers in quite a while. Uh, I'll start down here on the bell peppers. They really haven't produced anything yet. Hoping they'll start setting on soon. Uh, jalapenos are just starting to form peppers here and there. Got a few on, on, but the banana peppers have really been producing. We've already picked, I don't know how many, a couple of times. And this one's still got quite a few up at the top. And I just picked those off of this one banana pepper. And this one is laying down because we had a bad windstorm the other night. I need to figure out a way to tie it up. I'll show you a short clip of the storm we had uh, this week's uh, seven day forecast said the lowest high temperature we have in the next week is supposed to be 98 and it's supposed to the high uh, for that period is supposed to be 103 so it's going to be really hot figured I better get some of this stuff picked before it got sunburned and stressed the plants out and stuff but here's the habanero down at the end. It's starting to put on peppers now. It's really healthy looking and bushy. It's going to be a big producer, I think. Just have that one. Started out teensy tiny earlier this year. It's doing really well. That's a look at what we have so far. Okay, there's a quick look at the tomatoes I picked today. Um, there's probably seven or eight different kinds in there. And then I lost some to uh, being sunburned, bad splits, insect damage, just miscellaneous stuff. The black cherries uh, do seem to split after big rains, but it produces so many that you still get plenty, so it's not a big deal for me. Well, there's today's haul. Uh, the eggplants are really producing, even though they're, the plants themselves are being eaten up by flea beetles and lace bugs and blister beetles. I'm trying to get them the best I can, but it's just hard to keep up with them. But anyway, we had a pretty good haul. That cucumber there is from a volunteer plant I let grow at the edge of the garden. That's over there. And the reason I don't grow them on the ground, one of the reasons is you end up missing a bunch of them like that big giant one there. Uh, it was let go way too long. Uh, but anyway, this is what we got today. Pretty good day's harvest. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a couple of tomatoes there. Some I think will still be good to eat. I'll just cut off the split parts. Uh, those are from the 1884. And then I picked one early on it. It's really big. A little cat face but I picked it because we've had so much insect damage and some of them are being sunburned and splitting so anyway that's a few more we got and here's a quick look at one of the eggplants we have four of them but as you can see there's plenty more coming on even though these plants are getting the heck of eating out of them uh, Seem to be pretty good producers. I think I'll grow them again next year. If I can get these insects figured out. And there's what I got today just uh, in today's inspection. Those are blister beetles. 
and I did uh, squash a few that dropped to the ground. Sometimes I'll do that when you're trying to get them in the dish. But these things just keep coming. I keep having to kill them. It's uh, kind of a pain in the butt, but that's the way it goes, I guess. But uh, Tanya and I talked it over, and we're going to take most of what we uh, picked today over to a drop-off point for the Kansas Food Bank. Uh, so most of that stuff will be going to people that are a little down on their luck and hope they enjoy it. <laughs>